Daddy. I'm sorry to be dropping in on you like this, honey, but there was no place else for me to come. What's the matter, Daddy? Were you in an accident? You, you look like a truck ran over you. An accident? Yes, an accident, Rena. An accident hardened by 20 years of lying. I don't know what you mean, Daddy. found out about Vicky and... Alex Wheeler. That was the name of the truck. <laughs> the truth has finally hit me. You know what you tried to tell me about your mother? You know what you tried to tell me the other day when I wouldn't... wouldn't listen to you? Yeah? It wasn't her career that kept her from us all those years. It was Alex Wheeler. How'd you find out, Stryker? Who told you? Oh, honey, you better, you better sit yourself down. You look terrible. It do doesn't matter who told me. What matters is that 20 years of illusions have been blasted to hell. Maybe it's better this way, Daddy. She never did love you. She... Well, maybe you're, maybe you're right, Rena. Maybe she never did love me. She's been loving Alex Wheeler for a lot of years, that we do know. You, you've known that for a long time. And all of Houston has known it for, for how long, Rena? Oh, Stryker, it's not like that, honey. I, I didn't even know for sure myself until I, until recently. But I have suspected something for a long time. There's, there's always been something about Alex Wheeler that bothered me, that, that maybe it made me suspicious, like the way he wouldn't look at me in the eye for very long. I, I have I've sensed something between them for ages now, Daddy. Look, let me tell you something. Many years ago, when, well, even before... Vicky left us when I was still a little girl. I saw, I saw Vicky kiss Alex when he was arriving at a party, and and maybe it seemed like an innocent little kiss to other people, but to me it was it was more than a a good old Texan, how do you do, you know, between a couple of friends. It, I sensed, I sensed something electric between them, and I. I didn't have the words then, I, no. but I knew that something was wrong. No, no, no it's just you, a, g a girlish fantasy, jealousy. You've no. always been a little bit jealous of Daddy, me. it was something, and I have never forgotten it. That's when I started hating Vicky, way before she ever left us. Because I knew that... I knew that she had moved a part of her heart away from you, even before she left you, Daddy. A little girl has always been smarter than me. Why didn't I believe you back then? At least I could have spared the two of us some of this... pain. Daddy, the, this thing with Vicky, we have both paid a high price for it. Now, you wanted me to love my mother, but she wasn't deserving of it, was she? I feel like I have been gored by a bull. I, I, I can't believe that I've been blind for so long. I, I, that they've made a fool of me for so long. I can't believe. It's the same old story, isn't it? My wife and my, my best friend. 
I thought she had to be free to follow her career. I... <laughs> I even told her I'd wait for her. It's like a waiting for a rattlesnake to strike back. She never even asked me for a divorce, not once. I... I asked if she wanted one. She said no. I waited. I hoped the day would come. And all the time she was in the arms of that dirty... Son Daddy, of... Daddy, don't do that. Don't make her do that to you. She isn't worth it. She isn't even worth as much talk. If I had only known, if I... Had... She'd just been honest enough to level with me. I'd have... I would have found some good woman to spend those years with. At least you'd have had some kind of a mother. She cost us both, Daddy. But she did us a favor. She made us closer together. You are the only thing that I love that hasn't been taken from me. <laughs> I understand now about... Mike Marshall. Poor Mike. He lost his wife years ago. Just about the same time I lost mine. We had a lot more in common than I realized. Can you imagine how I felt when... when that man proved to me that that I was the only one in... the only poor devil in Houston who didn't know what was going on. Where are you going? Home. No, Vicky, Vicky's house. You can't do that. What? Honey, you can't go back there and try to put things back together again, not, not after all she's done to you for all these years. Stryker, now that you finally have found out what she is, I'm not going to let you stay with her in that, in that witch's house. Uh, it's not that simple. It, 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 look, when, when somebody's been a part of your heart as, as long as she has, it would, it would take Kevin's scalpel to cut her out. I want you to stay here with me. Hmm. You make her talk to you here. No, Rena. Now, there's a big chunk of me at Vic, Vicky's... I have to talk to her. I've got to see her. I've got to bring it up into the open. Stryker, if you must go back, you just don't hold back, you hear? You tell her what she is. And what she's been to you all these years. That I want you to move out of that house and you come and live with me. Now that's the way it always should have been. You hear me? We'll see. We'll see, Rena. I have got to talk to her before I make a decision. You let me decide. What's best for all of us? Mm -hmm.